In Brockton, we swing for the fences so we can touch home. We coach in Brockton to instill the teamwork that builds a great winning tradition. We do business in Brockton because here you can find a taste of home away from home. We keep our company in Brockton because we love this city. When Brockton is home, everything is within reach. microphone to talk into. Uh, um, thank you very much for that very kind welcome. I'm not even the special guest today. So I, I am very pleased to be here though to introduce uh, the Prime Minister to you. Uh, today in Brockton about one-third of our city is our Cape Verdean community. So clearly the ties between Brockton and Cape Verde are broader and deeper and more significant than they've ever been. Uh, financial, educational, cultural. And <clears throat> so when, when, when we came into office almost four years ago, I realized that it was important for us as a city to develop relationships with the elected leaders in Cape Verde because we are so closely tied together today. So a few months after becoming mayor, I had the opportunity on my first trip to, to Cape Verde to visit the prime minister who was the mayor of Praia at the time, the capital city. And we found out very quickly, first of all, we got along very well. As Chris said, we do share a lot of philosophy. So even though we're operating in opposite sides of the world in completely different countries and cultures, uh, we both do have a lot of shared vision around economic development, creating opportunities for the people that live in our cities, entrepreneurship. <clears throat> and the Prime Minister is actually a very fascinating guy. His, his education 
and his background is in banking and finance before he went into government. So he brings that very strong financial background as a uh, government leader now as the Prime Minister of Cape Verde. And so as we got to know each other, and, and I think, Mr. Prime Minister, you've visited, this is your third or fourth time visiting me here, and I've visited you three times there. So we've got to know each other pretty well over the last three and a half years. <clears throat> and it's, uh, it's a great relationship, and as we spend time together, we find out that even though we're in these completely different countries and opposite sides of the world with different languages and cultures, the things that you think about as mayor and the, and the issues that are important to you as mayor are pretty universal. I'm worried about jobs, he's worried about jobs. I'm worried about public safety, he's worried about public safety. I'm worried about the education our children are getting, he's worried about the education his children are getting. So you, you find out that you have a lot more in common than you may have thought before you got to know each other. So <clears throat> it has been a, a great relationship for Brockton to have this friendship and this ongoing relationship with the Prime Minister. As I said, his education and his background, his experiences in banking and finance, he was the Minister of Finance for the country before he became uh, the mayor of the capital city of Pryor in 2008. When he was re-elected as mayor of Pryor in 2012, he was elected by the largest margin ever as in a mayoral election in the, in the capital city of Pryor, which I think. <clears throat> so maybe I'm a little envious of that one, but, um, uh, but it, it, I think it was a testament to the great work that he was doing in the city and the people could see the city improving and changing and they showed their confidence in him. And then uh, <clears throat> in 2012, 13, when is the, 13 is the election for prime minister, right? Uh, in 2013, uh, when he ran for prime minister, uh, six, I'm sorry, I get, right, thank you. 2008, 2012, 2016. In 2016, when he ran for uh, prime minister, uh, he also won by a very overwhelmingly margin and which is not easy to do in a country that has two major political parties who, it's not like here, there's no such thing as an independent in Cape Verde. You know, you're in your MPD, your PAICV, or one of the other smaller parties. But yet he had overwhelming support when he was elected as a Prime Minister of uh, Cabo Verde. So it truly uh, is an honor to have him here with us in the city of Brockton today. He has a couple of his cabinet ministers here with him. He's brought the Consul General. He's also brought uh, Mr. Carlos Vega, the Cape Verdean Ambassador to the U.S., who traveled all the way up from Florida to be here uh, for this visit with the Prime Minister. So I truly appreciate the entire delegation being here, and it is a, just a distinct pleasure and honor for me to introduce to you the Prime Minister of the country of Cabo Verde, uh, Mr. Ulysse Correa y Silva. So, thank you. Uh, th thank you for, for me. It's uh, an honor uh, to address you in this uh, lunch. Uh, I'm uh, a Rotarian, too. I haven't my pins here, but uh, I'm a Rotarian. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank uh, to Mayor of Brockton, Bill Carpenter, Chris Cooney, they are uh, both good friends. Uh, I think the best thing we do in politics, in politics is uh, to keep friendship and to keep a good relationship uh, be, because uh, for us it's not just institution, it, uh, it's not just a country, it's uh, about uh, people and uh, about relationship and the friendship for me, for uh, our country, is very, very important. And uh, thank you for this opportunity and for your friendship. 
and Brockton. Brockton is the third most important city of Cape, of Cape Verde. We have a, an important community here. And thanks to the mayor, this community is very, very well integrated in terms of uh, economy. They participate in the economy of the city. Uh, they have a small business. They are very well integrated in terms of social inter integration. And for us, it's an honor. And uh, it's an honor to have friends uh, like uh, Bill Car Carpenter, uh, like uh, Martin Walsh, that I'm going to meet uh, tomorrow, and uh, other uh, mayors. Uh, because uh, I know very well that uh, the mayors do difference in the, all the management and the governance of proximity. And that's why it's, for me it's easy to, to talk with uh, Mayor Bill and to talk with the other mayor. Because I'm still mayor and uh, I learned a, a lot uh, as a, a mayor, and uh, a mayor is uh, someone that is very, very focused to resolve problems and very focused in people. And that's why uh, I'm very, very thankful to be here. Thank you, Chris Cooney. Thank you, Bill Carpenter. Thank you. Of all, of all, and uh, as a Rotarian, I'm very proud to be here. Thank you. In Brockton, we swing for the fences so we can touch home. We coach in Brockton to instill the teamwork that builds a great winning tradition. We do business in Brockton because here you can find a taste of home away from home. We keep our company in Brockton because we love this city. I study and learn in Brockton to achieve my goals. When Brockton is home, everything is within reach. Today's gun buyback is not yet complete. You can see already here today, we've been able to collect 10 crime guns. Crime guns are working handguns that could potentially be used to commit a crime. We've been able to get 10 of those guns, many of them with the ammunition, all in working condition off the streets today, plus a couple of other guns, a total of 12 guns so far off the streets of our city. This program today is accomplishing two things. First, we're getting potential crime guns off the street before they fall into the hands of criminals. And at the same time, we're protecting our senior citizens because we know that senior citizens who have guns in their home have become a target for break-ins. Individuals looking to acquire a gun illegally will break into the home of a senior citizen to get one. So today's uh, program, done in partnership with the Council on Aging, really an initiative brought forward by our Senior Citizen Safety Task Force, uh, is to protect seniors in their homes while at the same time protecting the city by getting guns that would potentially fall into the hands of criminals off the streets.
The office of Mayor Bill Carpenter has announced a variety of new ways residents can submit tips anonymously and communicate with neighbors via telephone, internet, texting, and apps that are available on your cell phone. If you want to contact the Brockton Police Department anonymously, you can do so directly by calling them anytime at their tip line, 508-941-0244. You can also send a text to CRIMES, or 274-637. Text Brockton at the beginning of the text, followed by the violation you see that you want to report. These features are available to anyone with access to a phone, cell phone, or computer with internet access, and all of this information can be found on the Brockton Police Department's official website at brocktonpolice.com. Outside of directly contacting the Brockton PD via call, text, or online message, there are a few new apps you can download to your smart and iPhones to report crimes and violations you see anonymously. My PD is an app you can download to your phone where you can submit a tip, ask the Brockton police a question, or even commend an officer for doing a good job. You just click on what you want to do and fill out the forms provided electronically. The forms allow you to get as detailed as you'd like while submitting a report to best give the Brockton PD the opportunity to respond to your issue. You can also get My PD without downloading the app at mypolicedepartment.org slash Brockton dash police dash department and fill out the information online just as you would the app on your phone. There's also Nextdoor an app and website at nextdoor.com that is a private social network for you, your neighbors, and your community. It's an easy way for you and your neighbors to communicate. You can use this to talk to neighbors about anything community related, tracking down a trustworthy babysitter, asking for help looking for a lost pet, and finding a reputable mechanic to work in your car. Quickly report a neighborhood break-in, organize a neighborhood watch group, do it all with the Nextdoor app. And last but not least, see, click, fix. This is a feature that gained popularity following our most recent winter as a way for residents to report potholes on city streets that needed to be filled. However, it's much more than a resource to report potholes. You can download the see, click, fix app on your phone or go to the city of Brockton's official website at brockton.ma.us and click the see, click, fix button on the left-hand side of the page. You can report non-emergency issues to the city of Brockton using this app. Everything from abandoned property, to traffic signal issues, to graffiti, to loose animals, to snow removal. You'll receive an email updating you on the status. These are just some of the new ways the city of Brockton is introducing technology to connect with its residents and make solving problems easier. And remember, the City of Brockton is online 24-7 at its official website, brockton.ma.us. if I wanted a tour. So, so that's why I dressed up tonight for Mayor Carpenter. Wore my best flannel. Claus history here in the city, which is why I wore my uh, Mexican El Santo Claus shirt. 
And uh, man, I'm going to be keeping my eye out from the back of the dugout, make sure that none of the uh, bad guys get too out of line. Yeah. Mick, it's an honor to have you here in the Thanks. city of Brockton and the city of champions. It's always great to welcome a champ to the city of champions. Thank you. And uh, so we wanted to really officially recognize your visit here to City Hall today with a citation from the city of Brockton. So this citation says, be it known that the mayor of Brockton hereby extends his appreciation to Mick Foley in recognition of your first ever appearance in the city of Brockton. Right. In the city of champions, we are honored by the presence of a three-time WWE World Wrestling Champion this weekend. Beyond your accomplishments within the confines of sports entertainment, you're an exemplary role model with your philanthropic efforts with organizations such as RAIN, Child Fund International, and recently your efforts to raise money for those affected by Hurricane Harvey. Thank you. For a man who has been recorded slicing open Terry Funk's forehead intentionally <laughs> with barbed wire and slamming Guilty. edge Yep. and slamming Edge into a pile of thumbtacks that you had readily at your disposal with the intent to use them as yes, a weapon. I did. We couldn't ask for a more commendable human being <laughs> to be performing in the City of Champions this evening. So therefore, it gives me great pleasure to present this citation to you as a symbol of our appreciation, and this citation is duly signed by the Mayor of City of Brockton on this day, the 8th of September, and Mick, it truly is a pleasure Thank to have you, you here. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Brock. Thank you. All right. Let's take a look at that. Now let's get a good right. picture there with that, huh? In Brockton, we swing for the fences so we can touch home. We coach in Brockton to instill the teamwork that builds a great winning tradition. We do business in Brockton because here you can find a taste of home away from home. We keep our company in Brockton because we love this city. 